10 months ago, I started looking for a career change because my current career as a physical therapist just wasn't cutting it. I didn't find it very fulfilling. Now, I actually started off college as an undergrad major, and so I've always had a strong interest in tech. And so I started looking at different fields that I might be interested in, and that's when UX design popped out to me as something that I could see myself doing. Now, the way that I saw that a lot of people were getting into UX design is that they were doing UX boot camps. The problem is that a lot of these boot camps are really expensive. And so naturally the question arises, are these boot camps actually worth the money? And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with the boot camp that I've done and let you know if I think it's worth it or not. To start, I will say I think it's difficult to generalize whether a UX boot camp is worth it because it depends on what the person defines as worth it. Now, I can imagine that probably most people would define worth it as landing a job from the boot camp. But by that definition alone, if I only operated off of that definition, I would have to say that a UX bootcamp is not worth it because I'm still actively looking for a job at this point, even 10 months later. I think a better way to look at whether a bootcamp is worth it and something that might be more helpful for you is for me to list out just the pros and cons with my experience of the bootcamp that I've done. To give a little bit of context, the UX bootcamp that I did is through Av Academy, and their bootcamp program is a little bit different, I think, because it's broken up into two different parts. So the first part is their foundations program, which really teaches you the fundamentals of end-to-end -end UX, and it's designed to be eight weeks long. And then their second part is a follow-up program called Career Jumpstart, and this is a three to eight month long program that basically gets you doing real client projects collaboratively with a team of designers, and they also help you with the job application and interview process. The reason it's three to eight months is really just depending on how uh, quickly you are able to land a job. Let's start with some of the benefits of experience by taking a UX bootcamp. So one of the big benefits by enrolling in a UX bootcamp is they distill all the information that you need to know about end-to-end -end UX and they put it in one centralized place. One of the big arguments against UX is that people will say, oh, well, why don't you just look at their curriculum for free on their landing page and then just look up one of those, each of those topics on YouTube, and then you can basically teach yourself UX for free. And I mean, look, you can absolutely do that, but I think it would be really hard to find the right video for each topic. And also, I think it'd be really easy to get lost in the weeds and really hyper focus on something that you really don't need to be focusing on and it would really just end up detracting you from doing the actual work. So one thing that my bootcamp did well is giving me really like the bare minimum amount of information that they felt I needed to know, and then they just threw me into the project, and then I just sort of learned as I went, learning sort of the nuances along the way. The second benefit of taking a UX bootcamp, I think is arguably the most crucial, and that is I get to work on actual real client projects. So I've worked on multiple projects with other designers, project managers, developers, and stakeholders. And these are things that companies really want to see from their applicants. And so the value of a designer that has real client experience versus a designer that just has conceptual case studies cannot be overstated. One of the interview questions that I've gotten is to talk about a time when I've had to settle a problem within the context of a design team or to talk about how I collaborate with a developer. And if I only had experience working on case studies, I wouldn't even have an answer to that question. And so trying to orchestrate a collaborative project with people in multiple fields working on a real client project would be painstakingly difficult to do on your own, or at least I feel like it would be. And so that's why to me, this is probably the biggest benefit of doing a UX bootcamp. The third reason to take a UX bootcamp is stakes. And I'm gonna be very blunt. If I tried to learn UX design all on my own using just free resources like YouTube, I would have quit a long time ago. I know that. And the reason why is because there's really nothing on the line. I mean, if I tried to get into UX design for free and I did, it didn't end up happening, 
Other than feeling sorry for myself, there's really nothing on the line. There's nothing at stake. But because my UX program is expensive, there is a lot of money on the line if I don't end up getting a UX job. So there might be some days where I don't feel super motivated to do the work, but then I remind myself how much money that I put into this, and then that kind of sets a fire uh, a little bit to get myself working again. Because if I don't get a UX job, then I will have wasted all this money and I don't like wasting money. And so by investing in a UX bootcamp, it provides a lot of accountability in the sense of there's now something on the line. There are stakes at play. There are other benefits to a UX bootcamp as well, such as mentorship and being a part of a private community, but I'm not really gonna list those as main benefits. And the reason is because you, for mentorship, you can actually find free mentorship on sites like ADP List. On sites like that, you can find people in the UX design field that have been working in there for 10 plus years, and you can actually book calls with them and get mentorship for free. So UX boot camps don't really have an advantage in terms of that. And then as far as private communities, again, they're really nice to be a part of, and most boot camps have that. But you can also find uh, UX design communities for free, <clears throat> including mine, uh, Designers Den. There's a link in the description below. Anyway, uh, but you can find UX design communities all throughout the internet that you can join to connect with like-minded designers. So there's not really uh, a huge benefit that a UX bootcamp has in that department. So what's the downside to UX bootcamps? There are a few to keep in mind. The first downside is most prominent, and that is the price. UX boot camps are notoriously expensive, although not as much as a college degree, so I guess it has that going for it. But my boot camp, like I said, was broken up into two parts. And the first part, the foundations, it was 3,000 US dollars. And the second part, the career jumpstart program, was 5,500 US dollars. So that means I've invested 8,500 US dollars into my UX boot camp, which is just a shit ton of money saying that out loud. I definitely had to opt for a payment plan since I don't have that kind of money just laying around, just like I imagine a lot of other people don't. Um, but with that being said, UX boot camps are not something to be taken lightly because they are quite expensive and some programs can be in the tens of thousands of dollars. The second downside, at least with my boot camp, is it's very light on UI and very heavy on UX. The goal of my boot camp was to throw me into projects as quickly as possible so that I can get a case study added to my portfolio. So they're not necessarily holding my hand teaching me about the design tool that I'm using, Figma. Um, so by the end of the course, I had a good understanding about the UX process, but I felt like my UI skills were not very good, and I felt like my Figma skills were not very good. And so for Figma, I actually took a course afterwards from Midsco called the uh, Figma Masterclass, which was phenomenal. I have a video about it. And then, but as far as UI, I feel like getting better at that is just a matter of repetition, just like painting or playing guitar. Um, I'm sure I could watch video series on how to get better at that. But I think as far as UI, I think I just need to keep putting in the work to get better at that. The last downside to UX boot camps is unrealistic expectations. UX boot camps are a business, and business's main goal is to make money. And because of this, UX boot camps capitalize on their star students that end up getting jobs within one to two months. And so they will highlight these students on their landing page to make it appealing. The problem is that a lot of times these students that get jobs within one to two months are anomalies. They are not the average. And so what happens is that sometimes these UX boot camps can paint an unrealistic expectation on how long it actually takes to land a, uh, their first UX role. I'm a prime example of this. I'm still doing my UX boot camp, and I started this 10 months ago, and I still have not landed a job yet. So I definitely am not gonna be appearing on their landing page anytime soon. But I'm also not going to quit either. Week after week, I'm realizing that it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time to get into the UX design industry. And uh, much more so than I initially thought. When I first started my UX bootcamp, I thought I was going to land a job by January or February this year. And, but here we are, and that has not been the case. 
I think the role of the UX bootcamp is really, it's just an avenue to teach you proper UX principles and to guide you through the process of the job application process. But other than that, it's really up to you to put in the work week after week um, because the boot camps won't do it for you. If you were to ask me straight up, Jansley, if you could start over, would you do your UX boot camp over again? I think my answer would be yes. And the reason I would say yes is because of a reason that I talked about earlier. It's because it gives me a lot of accountability and a lot of stakes. I know that if I were to have tried to do this on my own using just free resources like YouTube, I know that I would have quit a long time ago. This may not be the case for you though. You may have stronger willpower than I do and you don't mind searching through YouTube videos to figure out the end to end UX process on your own and finding your own projects. And if that's the case, then more power to you. But I do think that investing in a UX bootcamp is important because it shows that you are willing to bet on yourself. And when you are willing to bet on yourself, you tend to take things more seriously, or at least that has been the case for me. Because I have actually spent money to bet on myself getting into the UX industry, I am taking it a lot more seriously than if I just dabbled in this trying to do everything for free. And even though I still haven't landed a job yet, I am still getting ongoing support from my boot camp, from my peers, as well as mentors. And so I know that if I keep going, it's not a matter of if, it's really just a matter of when I get my first, first uh, full-time UX role. If you wanna learn more about the UX bootcamp that I took at Academy, you can check out this video right here. And if you found this video to be helpful, then it would mean a lot if you hit the subscribe button and then you can see other cool videos like this. And also feel free to join the Designers Den, the Discord server of like-minded designers. If you wanna connect with other designers, you can uh, join in the link below. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.